Hello and welcome to part 8 of the Skyrim Special Edition Ultimate Graphics Tutorial. And in this part we're going to handle the cities, villages and the clutter that belongs to the cities and villages. Um, for the ones who have perhaps seen my introduction part, there I explained that half of the tutorial uh, I was so uh, fed up with Nvidia Shadow Play because of all the corrupted files and uh, till now I have probably done all parts two or three times because of yeah again the corrupted files and nvidia shadow play has really some weird bugs so from now i'm using action game recorder for my desktop recording and that all just works perfect so from now on uh, i should not have any bugs or um maybe yeah audio which is lacking or it's just not really well synchronized from now on everything should be fine so this is a pretty um yeah complex part maybe not for you if you just follow if you just follow the installation instructions but yeah it has some it's a little bit of a twitchy part you have we have to do a couple of things a couple of patch files and a couple of exceptions here so make sure to follow the instructions pretty well in this part because yeah it's going to be pretty important with uh, plugins and correct load orders and all that stuff. First of all, we're going to JK Skyrim, which in my opinion is the best uh, town and city overhaul in the game. It's the only one that you need because I definitely would not recommend all the sit dozens of city overhauls from uh, the Nordic Guides. If you would go to the Nordic Guide and you would scroll down to, let's see, um, where is it? Settlement, city, city overhauls. If you would open it up, there are so many of them and it continues here with towns and additional settlements. So in my opinion, only pick JK Skyrim. You can get enough problems with that if you are uh, modding uh, with a lot of other city mods if you if you really want to do that. But in my opinion, that's just fine. It's good enough. Cities look great. So JK Skyrim, go to files, download the main file. So that's this one. And you also want to download the Realistic Water 2 patch, which is, where is it here? And also the Skyrim 3D 3's patch, because else you might have some clipping issues with um, with, the, with the game and JK Skyrim. And let's see what this says here. Fix, yeah, here, it literally says here. Fix, fixes clipping trees and hanging lanterns in with them and Morthal. Adjust position, all right. Um, so download those three files and then let's see we can first add the JK Skyrim main file that's this one the all-in-one file click on manual and then press OK all right then we can activate the mod all right and then we can add the first patch file which is realistic water 2 click manual and press OK but don't activate this this patch yet because we have not installed realistic water 2 yet and if we need to, if we're going to check out the uh, patch notes, which is here, uh, you can see that we need to install it in the following way. So first JK Skyrim, then Realistic Water 2, and after Realistic Water 2, we need to drag and drop this ESP from this patch file. So what we're going to do now is we're going to notes, and we put a note here as well that we say, let's see, um, place this ESP file after the Realistic Water 2 ESP so okay press close and when we hover over here now we can see we have this patch note all right then the second one for 3d trees is a little bit more complex because when we activate this mod here and let's see if we check out this patch note we'll see the following what we want to do is jk skyrim first then s 3d trees next generation forest and then the patch for for this one so that means that we actually need to drag and drop JK Skyrim in the load order of the forests and all. So in that case, we need to drag and drop JK Skyrim uh, here to right above S3D trees, as you can see here. And then we can activate this file with the patch and we need to place it after, let's see, uh, S3D trees. That should work. If not, and I'm gonna find out because I'm not really even sure if this works, but uh, I've tested it, it should work. And if not, I'm gonna find out after I uh, run my game after this tutorial part. And if everything is fine, I'm gonna leave it. And else I'm gonna re-record this part because then apparently it does not work, but it should be fine like this. So don't forget, uh, but we're going to do this at the end of the tutorial. We're gonna fix all these files. Don't forget to do this realistic water 2 mod uh, patch file after realistic water 2 we can actually fix one uh mod here which i just saw because that's jk skyrim towns and what we have here is drag and drop this after the jk skyrim mod so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to let's see drag and drop this after jk skyrim mod and it comes with an esp i think 
yeah, here it is. And we want to drag and drop this after JK Skyrim. That should be fine because this should not really interfere with S3D trees. So this should be the correct load order so far for now. And with that, it should be fine. And we can continue with the next mod, which also requires some patch files. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But this, this is probably one of the more patch required um, uh, mod parts because yeah, uh, a lot of things might interfere uh, with each other. So for that reason also, I would not definitely not recommend installing a lot of towns and city mods. Anyway, the next part is either Ars Farmhouse or Skyland Towns and Villages. But for me, I'm going for JK's, or sorry, Ars Farmhouse and Handcards. You want to click on Files. Here you want to download this file, this file, and then you also want to download the Red Ivy Hotfix, and then you also want to download the Static Mesh Improvement Mod Road Patch. And this is not all, because after we install everything, we need to drag and drop this after and then slides and effects. So as you can see here, this also requires a little bit of work. But anyway, after you did download all the four files, in this case, you want to add ours farmhouse and you want to click on manual, set this as a data directory, press OK. All right, then you want to also add, uh, what is it, ours hand card. Click manual, correct the data directory. All right, and then we want to, what we want to do here is um, Oh, I, I can't co copy this text inside of Mod Organizer. So we want to ha make a notation for our hand cards that we, because we can use it right now, that's fine to test, but uh, we don't want to forget to drag and drop this after L effects. So an, after an end slides and effects, because I've seen this bug for myself. If you don't do this, you have some floating hand cards, an example, river root and all, and this will definitely fix it in combination with enhanced lights and effects. All right, then we do have the red IV hotfix here. Click on manual, set the data directory, correct? Uh, okay, and then activate this mod. And then the last one for this is the static mesh improvement mod rope patch. Click manual, it only comes with meshes, so this will overwrite the stuff from Static Mesh Improvement Mod. And we can always double check this by checking this uh, file structure. And yeah, Static Mesh Improvement Mod probably has these things as well. So, but these are not the dominant ones because these were replaced the ones from Static Mesh Improvement Mod. All right, so let's see. Um, that was everything for this mod, I think, yeah. Okay, um, okay, now we want to download Skyrim 3D Walls and you want to download Ultimate Stonewall. Skyrim 3D walls, it's this main file, uh, so 3D stone walls. And then afterwards you want to download the ultimate stone wall file. All right, and let's see um, if I, how I can explain this because we need to do something for the ultimate stone wall. Let's see, I'm gonna remove this because I've done this already. So I'm going to show you now what you need to do with the ultimate stone wall file because it's quite a large file. But you can't install it like this because it comes with a lot of options. So we can open up this uh, archive file. You can then open up the uh, folder and then you'll see all these options. You have to actually pick one of these. Um, so what I just, what I did is I picked 8K Ultimate Stonewall. I know 8K sounds like a ridiculous large mod, but it's not super large because it's only it only affects the stone walls. But you can also pick the darker stone wall, the 4k versions or even the 2k version those are fine as well let's see maybe yeah because i'm a screen archer i'm going for the 8k because i really love the close-ups and all but you should definitely go for 4k or 2k but anyway i'm going to i'm going for 8k but you should definitely not follow my example once you pick your file, make sure to extract this RAR file. And in case of mine, 7-zip, I'm uh, I'm gonna do it like this. But maybe if you have WinRAR or WinZip, you're yeah, you can do it like uh, you are supposed to do it. And um, let's see, what should I name it? Uh, 8K Ultimate Wall. Doesn't really matter that much. All right. Then after it did extract, um, here it is, right? Yeah, here it is. 8K Ultimate Stone Wall. So let's paste it in here and let's name it something like 5.1 or 5.2, I should say. So this is the extracted file in my case from Ultimate Stonewall. So make sure to pick a nice 2K or 4K version and then also set it somewhere in your load order uh, if you want to do it uh, yeah, in a more 
better overviewish way. All right, then, okay, we can close these two and we can now add them in Mod Organizer. So let's see, let's first add 3D stone walls, click manual, expand this, set this correct as your data directory and then press okay. And now we can add the additional stone, um, what is it? The additional ultimate stone wall textures. I mixed the uh, order here, by the way. So don't do it like this, uh, like I did. I accidentally swapped them. But anyway, um, yeah, so in this case, my ultimate stone wall textures, click on okay. So make sure to install 3D stone walls first and then the textures afterwards. That's very important. All right, and then let's see. Yeah, okay, we can continue with the more straightforward mods. So let's open up everything until Peltipalooza. So download CC's HQ cards and it comes with just resolution options. So in your case, pick 2K. I probably have 4K, but you should pick 2K. The 3D doors farm, farmhouse, just a simple file or you can pick the one without frame. Rustic windows, um, yeah, go for the 2K version. For Rock and Rock, there's probably, yeah, also resolution ones. I'm going for the 2K versions because indoor stuff, it doesn't matter really if you have 2K or 4K because indoor locations load really good. They are performing really good. And in that case, usually indoor stuff, I'm picking the highest resolution possible. Peltapalooza, I'm going for the full version as well. So once you did download all those files, let's add them inside the mod organizer. So these HQ cards first, click manual. Uh, you can disable the FOMOD and you can just make sure that the textures are added. All right, cool. Then we can continue with 3D doors, 3D door, click manual, correct the data directory. Okay, great. Then 09 is gonna be the rustic windows, manual data has to be set correct and as you can see these mods are all pretty straightforward so that's relatively easy then number 10 is rock rock also make sure to correct these ones the data directory all right and then the last one we did download so far is palthapalooza so yeah make sure to add it correctly as well with the corrected data directory all right Good, that goes a lot better and a lot smoother than the other mods. So after Peltapalooza, we do have Iconics Real Hay, HD Photorealistic Ivy, we need to download. Yeah, let's let's uh, stick with that. Um, so Iconics Real Hay, download the 2K version or the alternative textures if you prefer those. Then HD Realistic Ivy, which is a fantastic mod, looks amazing. You want to download the main mods and you also want to download the uh, Enhanced texture, actually these two patch files. Make sure you also download these two patch files. The good thing about this is that we can have it uh, in the same installation order as this is the main file, and then you can just add the two patch files because we need to um, we need to add HD photorealistic IV the main mod after these two mods, so the enhanced textures detail and after ours farmhouse, and then that means we can add this mod and then add the two patch files first. We're gonna make sure to add realistic hay. So that's gonna be number, oh, maybe I accidentally missed that mod. Anyway, uh, yeah, apparently I did, I've completely forgot to download this one, but you can download this and then just simply click here, add it to, to your mod organizer and um, yeah, that should be fine. Let's see, did I really forget it? Yeah, apparently I forget to install it. That's fine. I mean, I can uh, forget a mod as well, but uh, I'm gonna skip it for now. I'm gonna maybe install it later, but yeah, you should just do it like the other mods, edit the mod organizer, set data directory correctly if it's not, and then continue with HD Photorealistic Ivy. So there we did download three mods. Uh, let's see. So HD Photorealistic Ivy, click manual. This is the data directory, okay. And then we can just simply add the two patch files for it. So in this case, the first one, this is data, okay. And then the second one, uh, yeah, compatibility patch, okay, click manual, yep. All right, good. Then let's see, that was, yeah, everything so far for the mods we did download, yes. 
Great. So after HD photorealistic Ivy, we're going to add down some furniture mods, starting with noble furniture, starting with rustic noble furniture. And normally I would say snazzy furniture as well. But the thing is, um, the description, for, uh, I, I copied this from the uh, Nordic guide. It says, in the FOMAD, pick the replacer version. With this option, you won't get the added clutter such as paintings, but it won't require any patches. The problem is, if you download this uh, latest version, so the main file, um, let's see, do I actually have um, mm -mm -mm. none USB? Yeah, well, I'm gonna skip this because uh, this FOMAD does not give me the option to select. Um, what is it? The replacer version. I'm not really sure if the replacer version is here, maybe. Replacer version. I can't really see it. But anyway, I'm going to skip Snazzy because uh, else I have to install all of these freaking patch files. And they're quite a lot. And I can't really imagine that these are really um, yeah, good to have a lot of patch files for for your game, you know, because it's all going to interfere at a, s a specific point with each other. So in this case, I would suggest you only pick the... Uh, replacer version for noble furniture and for rustic furniture let's see what we do have you can also download a resolution version but I would go for the 4k version here with also the static mesh improvement mod uh, because that's what we have and uh, yeah again indoor stuff doesn't really isn't really that heavy for your uh, computer so in that case I would pick the 4k version so let's see number 14 first the noble furniture improved click manual correct data directory press ok and then number 15 is going to be rustic furniture click manual correct data directory okay and let's wait for it yep here it is great all right then so again we skipped snazzy's furniture and then we have some couple of other texture mods let's open a lot of them up till um until Till archery target retexture. So this one comes with two files, 4K or 2K. Again, I'm gonna for 4K because it's our indoor uh, things. Uh, just a single file for comfy drummer beds. The 2K retextured mage tables. It comes with a patch file for Ember's HD. Uh, I didn't install it, but you can do that because we're going to install Ember's HD later on in the tutorial. But I didn't really experience any problems with it. So. Uh, yeah, I'm only going for the 2k retextures mage, retextured mage tables Mad barrel Only a single file and archery target comes with two one and you want to pick this one the target retexture and the mesh file Right once you did do that we can go to uh, I have snazzy here, but again, I'm not gonna install it So the bar set click manual you can let's see Uncheck the tab format doesn't really do anything now because we're installing it manual anyway. Uh, let's see, number 18. That's the comfy bed from the Dremor. Dremor. All right. Um, this is the data directory. Okay, great. Then number 19. 2K retextured mage tables. Click manual. Set this as your data directory. Then press OK. Okay. And let's see, the last one was that we did download so far is the target retexture which is this one all right great so far so good now let's try to install the last couple of mods from this part um which is this one training dummies retexture uh we do have a rain barrel fix apparently i have really no idea if i actually did uh, download that one i'm going for the 4k and we do have a rain barrel so let's see if i actually did download the rain barrel fix i have really no idea I did, I think, or not. No, I did not. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to do that later on after I watch the tutorial. But make sure to download the uh, Training Dummies 4K Texture Replacer and the Rain Barrel uh, Fix and Retexture. And what you want to do then is, yeah, first download the main, uh, install the main file, okay. And then you want to also add this, uh, what is it, this retexture and also set the data directory correctly and then that's fine so i forgot to download that file but i'm going to do it afterwards because that's great for a mod organizer you can just simply drag and drop all the mod files all right then let's continue after training dummies retexture let's see um 
So we now have HD chopping execution block, rustic clutter, silver or normal map fix, forgotten retext project, and let's stop there. So this one comes surprisingly with a lot of textures. Um, Pooh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm only uh, I'm picking the 4K version. The rustic clutter improved. Uh, I'm going for the 2K pure version. Silverware, that's only one version. That's good. And forgotten retext project comes with one file. So let's add all those remaining files first. So chopping block execution. Click manual. This is the data directory from the 4K version. Great. And let's then add rustic clutter collection. Click manual. Set data directory correct. Press OK. Then let's wait until it's finished. Initializing and adding. Activate that mod then. Number 25 was the shine and silverware. Click manual. Correct data directory. OK. And Number 26 is gonna be the forgotten retext yeah, project. Okay, that's the last one, right? We did done it so far. Yeah, forgotten retext project. Comes with a options form apparently. Click next. Um, whoa, yeah, I'm not gonna pick these optional files just to be sure that I'm not doing anything wrong. All right, great. Then we can download the last couple of mods. So let's close all of these ones. And then um, let's see, we have the miscellaneous retexture project, HD sex, HD sex, the barrels and crates and those buckets apparently. Okay, this one we can download. Let's see the main file, I think. Yeah, the main file and this one as well. So the uh, retexture static mesh improvement mod ingredients. So download these two files, then HD sex, uh, I have really no idea what I did download. I think the main file only and you can download maybe an additional file as well if you really want to do that. It's not really that important of a mod. Then we have CLs, barrels and crates. It's only one file and then we have those buckets. Uh, I probably have downloaded the all-in-one. I'm not really sure but I think I did. Okay, so let's add those last couple of mods from this part because it's been a quite a long part. Um, yeah, this one actually comes with uh, two data folders, but I'm gonna leave the optional brown horker meat so I can uncheck this and set this as our data directory and then press OK. And let's add these files as well. Great. All right, and then add number 28, which is the, um, yeah, the static mesh improvement mod retextures ingredients. With it, this as our data directory, press OK. All right. And then number 29, was that the last one? No, it's definitely not. AG sex first. Yeah, as you can see here, it comes already with uh, different types, but I'm gonna go for, let's uncheck these ones. Um, I'm going for type A, so in that case, I'm gonna set this as my data directory and then press okay. All right, and then the last couple of mods, these barrels and crates. Does it comes with an options form, really? Yeah, it actually comes. Okay. Uh, in that case, mat res textures. We don't want that, don't want low res textures. Click install. All right, and then the last freaking mod is 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 those buckets null one. So in that case, you can pick one. Pooh, that's a really good one. In that case, you have to check the images from um, from how everything looks. So maybe we can do that actually. I like this one, not this one, not... Mm, I like the last one actually. Oh, that's vanilla, <laughs> okay. Is this a retexture then? I hope it is. Can, I, can we pick vanilla here? Is that allowed? Mm, can't really see it, well. Woodway one, uh, I like Woodway two. I think I'm gonna f go for Woodway two. In that case you can, does this work? No, it doesn't work. We have to manually just deactivate these versions and then set this as your data directory. If you want to have version two, else pick your version and press okay. And then let's activate the mods. And then I have finished finally 
poof, this part because it was all in one take and it was a pretty long part and I had to double check a lot of things with the patch files and all but this should be the correct load order except that you want to drag and drop Alpen and start live another life at the bottom and now you want to click here and run your Skyrim special edition see if everything works if not maybe there's something wrong with your order and the ESP and the plugins and uh, then yeah check every mod um, with troubleshooting so deactivate all of the mods after uh, what, we, what we did in this part so then you want to disable all of these mods if it fails, if your Skyrim crashes. And then activate them one by one to see which one is causing the problems. Anyway, thank you for watching this part. The next part is gonna be number 9, Special and Miscellaneous Textures. Which should not be a really difficult part, part, only a lot of texture parts. But anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you guys at the next part.